Hello, how you doing today? Welcome to another episode of Ubuntu and Open Source. Today I'm doing a review of Peppermint OS. This is version 8 that you see here. This is on a user account. I've already done some modifications to the admin account. So I wanted to show you the, all the defaults though. Like the time clock here. I like to change my clock so it looks like this. This is the panel here. Another thing I like to do with the panel is to move it to the top. Now this one I'm going to be theming in the future. And see, you'll get to see that in the theming. This is the keyboard layout. I'm going to remove that. I don't like to have that up there. Then we have the notifications up here, the workspaces. This here shows I still have some updates to do. I updated this as soon as I installed it. This is the workspace switcher. The task manager. And these launchers come installed by default. Now, for me, I'm not a fan of having all these launchers in there, so I'm going to get rid of them. I don't see the need of having all these extra launchers if we have a favorites in the whis whis uh, whisker menu. To me, this is cluttering up, cluttering up desktop, uh, the panel space. To me, this is just a bunch of clutter. But all in all, I like Peppermint OS. And I'm gonna get ready to show you why. So I'm gonna go to Chromium. Let me close that out. Chromium. I'm going to search for Peppermint. So there are many unique things about Peppermint OS that other distros don't seem to do. PeppermintOS.com So here we are, the Peppermint OS page. If we go to the About, We're going to see lots of the unique features of Peppermint OS. For one, the default desktop environment is based on LXDE, which is what I like a lot. You see, I like Ubuntu if you see my other videos. I like Ubuntu. And so what I like about this is that it's based on LXDE. Some of the other features that we find in Peppermint OS that you don't find in others, even though it's based on LXDE, it has Nemo for a file manager. And that's pretty cool. You can see it's built on the LTS versions, uh, based on the 1604. But it incorporates many other things that you won't find in LXDE. For example, they use the XFCE Task Manager. So there are parts that are XFCE and not LXDE.
So, I'm going to go to the all settings and show you this. So the customized look and feel, you can see is LXDE. As you can see, Peppermint 7, uh, Peppermint Dark 7 theme is by default. I like the green. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. If we go to some of the tweaks, let's go here. I want to show you something in here. So you see, this is based on Ubuntu. It has conical, conical in here. And you can see that it's based on 1604 Zinio. Power. If we go to the power management, Here we are, power management. You can see that the power management is XFCE power manager. So we're getting the best of two worlds here. Parts that are based on LXDE and parts that are based on XFCE. And as you can see the panel itself is an XFCE panel. This is one of the unique features that I like about Peppermint OS. And with the L uh, XFCE panel, we get the whisker menu, which is what I like a lot too. These favorites are in here by default. This is all of the applications, accessories, games. One of the things about Peppermint OS, if we start the solitaire, you can see it has the Chromium icon here. It says untitled because the page is still populated. Free online solitaire. So Peppermint is moving towards being a it's movement, it's about a cloud computer using applications and software that's on the internet, like a Chromebook. If we go to graphics, we can see here, I don't have an image to upload and install, but this here is also an online image editor. which I find that to be pretty cool too. Internet yet Chromium web browser for the default Dropbox ICE uh, integrates the uh, web apps to act like an office app, like Google Drive, Calendar, Gmail. These are your preference settings, but you still Another th unique feature that I like about Peppermint OS that you won't find in others is the Pulse Audio Multiband Equalizer. This is a system-wide equalizer because the audio, if we start it up, okay, I right-click. The audio is a Pulse Audio plugin. Meaning my the sound, the system sound is coming from Pulse and not from ALSA. So this is a system wide equalizer. Which is cool. You don't find that in any other distros either. 
We see the audio volume control pop up. Enable, keep settings, and apply. So if I were to play back some audio, um, you would realize the sound difference. System tools. You have system tools just like any other Ubuntu distro, the DW, <coughs> GD, GW package installer. Samba is installed by default for sharing. Software manager, Synaptic package manager, the update manager, and some other system tools here. Now over here, where'd it go? Terminal. Terminal. But you also have terminal. Where'd it go? Here we go. Over here in the accessories. So you have everything you need to install locally desktop applications if you want to. But even Peppermint OS says that they're not big on installing applications. They leave that up to you. Peppermint's handy cloud web application management tool ICE includes is included. So you see what they're dri driven towards. An operating system that mainly their main focus is on web applications. So there are uh, lots of unique features that I like about Peppermint OS, one that it's based on LXDE with some XFCE funk in there and their own uh, their own ICE application, desktop inter integration for web apps. So there you go, Peppermint OS version 8. Thank you. <laughs>